Good evening. Drift asleep fast with this calm sleep story for grown-ups. You are listening to Love in Bruges, a bedtime story set in a picture book city in Belgium, sometimes considered to be the Venice of the North. Romance may be found in every reflection on the canal, in the warm glowing windows of gothic dwellings, down quaint cobblestone lanes, and in the delicate details of Belgian chocolates. You fall in love with the Flemish city, exploring on a snowy night with a companion of your choice. Together, you return to a cozy houseboat and fall asleep. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen, think of my voice as that of a long-time and trusted friend. With every listen, and with a story in particular, I hope that you come to the sanctuary at the end of the day and remember that you are loved. I wish for the healing energy of love and self-care to wrap around you in a soothing embrace that helps you let down your guard and drift to sleep. Iris Murdoch expressed, We can only learn to love by loving. A life feels full when it has many connections, and love may be found in many ways. How fortunate everyone would be to experience the love of a pet, of a child, of a lover, of an unexpected friendship, of a mentor or for a place that makes one feel alive. In the land of fairy tales, so much focus is put on romantic partners and finding true love. But when a heart is open to all the depths of love to enjoy, the potential for connections become limitless. And you may enjoy a world full of many true loves in different forms. When listening to this story, you decide who to bring along for a night of bliss and love in Bruges. And with each and every listen, your companion may change if you like. It may be someone from the past or someone from the present. It may be the kind of relationship you yearn to attract into your life. You have full creative control to envision the kind of love you wish to experience tonight and to embellish the details I give you in this story. Romantic experiences need not have a romantic partner and the city of Bruges will allow you to be swept away by its medieval beauty and charm. From this place of openness and hope, your waking life may reflect the gentle shift that comes with a night of dreaming, because dreaming is a form of planning. Settle into the comforts of your bed as you prepare to drift across the bridge to your sleeping life. Feel your eyelids become heavy and close them if you haven't already. Away from the noise and activity of the outside world. You are safe to explore the haven inside. Open your mouth and yawn, or fake a yawn, to indicate to your body 
that it is okay to be sleepy and then sigh and with this sigh you let go of any tension or holding in your body and of any lingering thoughts or concerns that do not serve this moment of self-care. Imagine the air in your room has the aromatic notes of a snowy night in Bruges. The smell of cobblestone streets made shiny by melting snow. Of sweet and peppery wood smoke that trails out of the chimneys of neo-gothic row houses. Of clean snow and the North Sea. At your pace, take in a deep breath, the deepest of the day, and feel your belly expand and ribcage rise. And think of these words. I am full of love. Open your mouth into a big yawn and sigh. And only when you are ready, inhale again, following the breath as it flows to the deepest parts of you. And your body expands to take up more space. And think of these words. I am full of peace. Then open your mouth in a yawn. And then exhale in yet another sigh of release. And one more round. As you inhale, yawn, sigh. Full of love, full of peace, full of comfort, and in a state of ease and grace, it's time for the story to begin. At times we may underestimate the life-changing magic that can come from one moment or night. Perhaps there are phases in life where mundanity and routine let this truth slip away. But it only takes one enchanting night to remember how sparkling and awe-inspiring the world may be. You find yourself in Bruges on a winter night Perhaps a place you never even considered exploring. The Flemish city offers a glimpse into the past with each turn, unwinding cobblestone lanes, and each passage over the famous canals by footbridges. The air is cold, but the visuals are warm. The sky erupts in candied hues of pink, lavender, raspberry, and buttercup yellow as the sun drifts towards the horizon. A few flurries fall, and the contrast of the saltwater taffy skies and white flakes captivates you. The oversized snowflakes remind you of lace doilies, which is quite apropos, as the Flemish women of Bruges made over 1,500 styles of lace in a country known as the home of lace. Rain is more common in the winter months, and the rarity of snow heightens the resplendence of being here. You are properly outfitted in the most comfortable winter attire you have ever worn. You revel in each crisp hit of fresh air 
that warms inside your nose before it fills your lungs. You feel the warmth of your heart as it beats beneath a fuzzy scarf and thick sweater and winter parka. Every article of clothing you wear is blush, thick, and protective, yet at the same time makes you feel attractive, showcases your favorite colors, and is the perfect ensemble you would want to wear for a winter night out on the town. The vibrant sky reflects on the glassy water of Minnewater Lake. Small, jagged pieces of ice glow in the orange light of Golden Hour. Known as the Lake of Love or Water of Love, the lake is a wide spot along the canals that weave through the city in metallic blue bands. Between the old town and the train station, the lake is surrounded by a snow-dusted park with weeping willows. It was once believed that minin, or water nymphs, lived around the lake that was formed in medieval times when the sea breached the land during a storm and the canals were formed. Folklore tells of a young woman named Minna who defied her father's insistence that she marry a man from their tribe because she loved another. She ran away and met her true love at the lake and left the mortal world while in his arms he buried her love at the bottom of the lake so it would last throughout time. Some believe that love becomes eternal if you walk across the Minnewater Brook or Lover's Bridge with a beloved. A bevy of swans will return when the weather warms and are often depicted in paintings sold by local artists at the market. The swans are also symbolic of long bonds as many will mate for life. Even on a snowy day like this, an artist sits behind an easel and paints the setting with a palette of richly saturated oil paints. Her bare fingers turn red, poking out of fingerless wool mittens as she grasps the slender wooden handle of a paintbrush and captures the sky. Wandering through the park alone, you are reconnected to times in your life when you discovered who you were by the act of trying something new, by being someplace new. You realize how much you remember about your life when exploring a new place on your own. Your mind is instantly snapped out of a routine and the habitual thought patterns that come with it. In placid scenes like this, you find yourself reminiscing until the breathtaking beauty brings you back to the present moment. You walk along the lake towards the mystical bridge where you will meet your companion for a night with the sole purpose of creating great new memories. All afternoon you daydreamed about the evening with your companion and the joyous moments you hoped to create together since the idea came to you to meet on this bridge. And long after this night in Rouge, you will be full of wondrous sensations 
that flow with the persistence of the North Sea. The red bricks of a 19th century neo-Gothic castle across the waterway gleam in the last light of the day. The romantic turrets and towers reflect on the lake. Their beauty doubled in the mirror of the water of love. You see the outline of your beloved, be it a friend, family member, or romantic partner, as they peer out on the lake. Your boots step on the glistening cobblestone, picking up in pace as an involuntary smile forms on your face. You feel warm, pulsating energy travel throughout your nerves in your cheeks, over your skull, and down your spine and legs. Electrifying and comforting at the same time, you revel in this sensation of being alive. You share a telepathic connection with this person and they sense your approach. They turn in your direction as you come to the bridge and walk to meet them in the middle. You embrace one another in a long hug the kind of hug that warms your heart and makes you feel safe. There are times when a loved one is so familiar and comfortable, it is easy to imagine sharing many moments across lifetimes, in different times and places. The romantic history and a lore of Bruges cause your mind to ponder what it might be like to be in this very spot during the Middle Ages. There is a look in your eyes and a glimmer in your loved ones, quite specific to your union together. One glance gives a knowing understanding in a connection that goes beyond words and reminds you of the innate wisdom we share as a species. You stand together on the bridge and watch the sunset to the soundtrack of a violinist who busks in the park. His music softly reverberates across the canal enhanced by the gentle motion of the lake and the susurrations of the willow trees. Snowflakes land on your parka in a rubato patter. It's a privilege to watch the last rays of sunlight disappear before steely gray snow clouds take over the entire sky. Lanterns turn on to illuminate the bridge and pathways as twilight rolls in. You and your companion walk across the bridge and come upon a wooden bench. A solitary rose rests between the thin wooden beams its fuchsia petals are covered in frost, frozen in time, and made stronger by the cold. You leave the rose untouched to take in the splendor of the moment. You and your companion take turns telling stories about the journey of the single frozen rose that brought it to this bench. 
Some of the scenarios are silly. Yet even the serious ones become silly when exchanged between two conspiratorial storytellers roaming the streets of Bruges. There is a childlike curiosity that visits you both on this night. Your imagination knows no bounds. Together you walk down a narrow cobblestone canyon that weaves between two-story stone cottages and shops erected centuries ago. The gabled roofs are coated in pearly white snow, jutting like mountain peaks against the overcast sky. The narrow lane winds like a stream, and the buildings are so close together that you feel somehow protected. The warm glow of antique lights in bow windows and street lanterns guide you as the snow comes down heavier. And just as the two of you simultaneously reveal you would love to sit down and warm up, you arrive at the old chocolate shop. Icicles form on the snow-covered awning that reads, the place to be to drink the best hot chocolate. Twinkling lights frame the storefront windows that showcase divine chocolate truffles and desserts and bouquets of roses. The rich, intoxicating smell of hot cocoa wafts onto the street as a couple leaves the shop. You walk into the quaint two-story shop and ascend the stairs that act as a portal through time. Snow falls outside stained glass windows that depict medieval gatherings of people celebrating life in Bruges. Crystals dangle from antique lamps that light up mahogany fixtures and wine-hued walls. You feel as though you've stepped into a cottage in the Middle Ages, deep in the woods. A sign on the wall reads, Chocolate doesn't ask silly questions. Chocolate understands. And in the land of decadent Belgian chocolates, it is easy to feel understood. You sit by the stained glass windows at a table draped in a rose tablecloth that causes both of your minds to wander back to the tales of the frozen rose in the park. You laugh to yourselves and joke that the roses are following you and then peruse the menu to order hot chocolate. The waiter returns with a silver tray of decadence, holding two chocolate cups of cocoa nibs and your preferred sweet additions as well as two oversized ceramic mugs containing hot milk. You are each given a tiny whisk to create your warm concoction. You toss in the nibs and swirl the milk as they melt, getting lost in the hypnotic spiral pattern formed in the steaming liquid. You add dollops of whipped cream that float like clouds across the luscious beverage 
as it melts. You and your partner raise your mugs in a toast set against the backdrop of snowy Bruges outside the window. The ceramic cups are so full and heavy that they require both hands. But you don't mind as it warms your fingers. One heavenly sip is enough to warm you completely. You savor each rich, sweet note and feel completely satisfied as you peer out onto the street as locals return home. Even on a snowy night, people ride on bicycles and commute through the city, leaving thin, squiggly trails in their wake. A crackling analog recording of a French jazz song plays softly in the shop. And amour is a word that appears again and again in the lyrics. Love. It is a night of love. You have finished your hot chocolate and become ready to bundle for the cold when La Vie en Rose begins to play. Life in pink. Once again you think of the rose with a hope to see life through rose-colored lenses. A symbol tied to Aphrodite, the goddess of love. And perhaps you don't often consider that the universe brings signs or omens, and perhaps you can chalk it up to coincidence. But being in Bruges on this enchanting night, a part of you wants to believe the story that all the love the world can muster is showing up tonight for you to enjoy because you certainly deserve it. You both stand and help one another pile on your warm layers. You thank the staff for a memorable night and say goodbye. The stairs creak beneath your feet as you exit and step out into a snowy wonderland. You choose to explore a different winding lane to return to the waterfront. This longer scenic route takes you past rows of brick and stone dwellings with crow-stepped gable roofs that lead towards the smoky black sky as stairways to the clouds. Bruges is a city for walkers, each step unveiling another cozy lane or bend, sparkling with snow. And every now and then, you and your companion brush arms against one another and feel the kinetic energy of your bond. It simply feels good to be in their company. A row of barren trees dressed in white lights scatter down a road overlooking the canal. You follow your companion to a navy blue houseboat. A hand-painted welcome sign and brass anchor are tied around a wooden post with weathered ivory rope at the entrance of the houseboat. 
A ramp leads to a terrace atop the boat that overlooks the water and historic buildings across the way. Tiny fairy lights glow around railings and a stairwell that leads into the houseboat. You enter the main room through a white and blue door and hang your winter garments on nautical coat hooks in the white wood paneled walls. Locally made lace covers the floor to ceiling windows that look out onto the water as snow continues to fall and melt when it lands. Your companion suggests you enjoy the sauna before going to bed. And so you both change into lush ivory robes, cinched around the waist, and step into the wood paneled sauna. The dry air smells of freshly cut pine. You climb onto the upper bench while your companion takes the lower. You lie down and feel your spine become straight in perfect alignment with the smooth and solid beams. You take in a deep breath as visions of Bruges and this wonderful night waft through your mind. Your muscles begin to soften, free of tension as they surrender to the heat. Any hint of a chill lingering from the night walk is soothed by the sauna. And as you settle, into this warm, comforting space. You feel the slightest rocking back and forth of the houseboat. It is gentle and subtle, yet brings you to a state of pure relaxation. You open your eyes and look into the eyes of your companion. Overcome by gratitude that you have been able to share this night together. You step out of the sauna just before the heat becomes too much. In a dreamy state perfect for a night of sleep. You are soon tucked into bed beneath fresh linens that are silky against your skin. The mattress is firm and supportive beneath your tired body. And as you begin to drift to sleep, you hear the kind voice of your loved one, and with ease, they say, I love you. You let the words linger, feeling all the wondrous sensations that come with them, and then you respond. and say good night. Comforted by the feelings of safety, love, and warmth, you surrender and drift away to sleep. Finding grace, finding peace, 
peace, finding enchantment, finding hope, finding sleep. It's time to dream away.